Hello everybody. In this screencast, we're going to look at how to use binding inside the adapter for recycler view. All right, so this is a recycler view, an example that uses the recycler view. I'm using binding for the fragment itself, right? So we see this is all boilerplate code. I'm building the layout uh, for the binding for the fragment. <clears throat> and then if you look at the fragment, it just has a list. It has a recycler view in it. Um, then we have implemented the adapter here and the adapter simply just uses an inflator to get a view passes on the view to the holder the holder uses the view to extract the text views that are there you see there are three text views and then basically <clears throat> when you are doing the on bind you pass on the app the app gets displayed here and that's basically the, the normal flow for a recycler view now, instead of using find view by ID here, I would like to use a binder. So basically, if you run this app, I'd like to use view binding here in the adapter. So what I can do here is <clears throat> it's time. It usually this happens when it's time to create the holder, right? So basically, instead of doing the inflation like this, I'll do it like this. I'll go in here and I create um, the layout is called app list item so it's going to be app list item binding and call it maybe m binding uh, equals all right and then we'll do app list item app list item binding app list item binding dot inflate get inflator uh, parent and then false so that gives us the binding so i have the binding in that stage but the uh, view holder is expecting a view. So instead of a view as the constructor, I'm going to make it pass on a binding. So basically I copy this from here. I paste it uh, here and I call it binding. Here it is. So basically I'm going to pass on, instead of uh, it passing on a view, I'm going to pass on the binding. Okay. So basically uh, we are here and the constructor for the uh, the view holder will receive the binding okay here we are that's good now when you arrive here you receive the binding and then basically here we do binding dot because the super which is the recycler view view holder uh, is expecting a, a view so we'll do get root here and then what we need to do is instead of all of this i'm going to store the binding so basically i'm going to copy this from here paste it here and then basically I'm going to say m binding equals binding all right here we are and I'm going to close all of that I don't need all of this because now I have access to the binding and now here when I would like to uh, retrieve the text view I will just say m binding dot and then similarly here m binding dot and m binding dot so basically you could see that I could use binding and I, I just had to change how I pass on the instead of passing on a view I'm passing on now binding and that keep in mind that this binding is the app list item right which is this one right which has three it has three edit texts and so on right so basically that's what we're doing here and um, you're receiving the binding we're just storing it here in the constructor we're storing it uh, as a local variable here and then we are using it whenever we need to access the layout it's very straightforward please let us know if you have any questions now let's run it just to show to convince you that it, it works now still here it is and you see it's straightforward please let me know if you have any questions thank you